Hi everyone and welcome to Insight. Today's vlog is actually a vlog I was going to do uh, on Halloween, but unfortunately I did not have a lot of time and I had some technical difficulties, so I'm doing it today instead because it's an interesting topic. Uh, and that's why I've got my little mascot behind me. Today's vlog is going to be on ghost photography. There was a time when people believed that they could actually capture the image of ghosts uh, in photographs. The, the biggest con artist uh, in ghost photography was a man by the name of William H. Mumler. Mumler was by trade a jewelry engraver but he also did photography on the side as a hobby and one day as the story goes uh, he decided to take a self-portrait. When he processed the image he noticed that there was a ghostly figure standing behind him. So, so let me explain what happened. Um, at that time uh, they used photographic plates to take uh, photographs and um, they wouldn't throw them away. They were very expensive so they would reuse them. But of course they would have to clean them off and it wasn't unheard of um, that a previous image was not cleaned off completely. Uh, it was imprinted on the plate which led to this ghostly uh, after image. Anyway, Mumler thought wow this is this can be a great business in, in essence a light bulb went off a flash uh, went off in his mind and uh, that's what he did he started a business uh, photographing ghosts of course a lot of people were completely skeptical of his abilities and um, in 1863 uh, the photographic society of london actually sent somebody to investigate mumler uh, a man by the name of william Gwem, and Gwem you know, stayed with Mumler for a while and then eventually he came out saying Mumler's abilities are genuine. He actually is able to take uh, photographs of ghosts. So Mumler was able to convince uh, Gwen. But this didn't last very long because there were other skeptics. The most notable skeptic of uh, Mumler's was a man by the name of P.T. Barnum. That's correct. The P.T. Barnum of circus fame. Barnum was completely skeptical of Mumler's uh, claims and he believed that Mumler was just taking advantage of people. Now, I forgot to mention, one of the reasons why Mumler's business was so lucrative, why so many people believed in his claims was because a lot of people lost many family members during the Civil War and Mumler's claims actually appealed to those people because they believed that they could have their picture taken with uh, their deceased loved ones. Anyway, uh, P.T. Barnum believed that Mumler was just taking advantage of these people and that he was uh, preying on their, uh, on their loss. And he wanted Mumler to be put on trial. Eventually, Mumler was put on trial. The clincher against him happened when P.T. Barnum, who testified against Mumler, was able to produce a portrait of himself with a ghostly image of Abraham Lincoln behind him. What this proved basically was that these kinds of effects were fairly easy to achieve and that uh, Mumler was not uh, taking photographs of ghosts. Uh, a more likely explanation was that there was some sort of special effect uh, involved. And of course, the special effect that we're talking about here is one that's very common today. It's called double exposure. After the trial, uh, Mumler lost all credibility. Now, interestingly enough, he was not actually found guilty because he was able to convince uh, the judge that he sincerely believed that he was taking photographs of ghosts. There's one more story I need to tell you before I uh, finish this vlog, and that is that in 1871, Mumler took a portrait of Mary Todd Lincoln. Mary Todd Lincoln was the wife of Abraham Lincoln. Mumler said that he never met uh, Mary Todd Lincoln before she came in for the portrait. And one of the most famous images that he took was of Mary Todd Lincoln with uh, a ghostly image of Abraham Lincoln uh, behind her. 
and he claimed that he had absolutely no knowledge of who she was. He just took the image and that was uh, what came up. So I guess um, one of the things that we're left with is, was Mumler actually a fraud or maybe somehow once or twice he was able to uh, capture the image of a ghost. Well, I guess we'll never know. Anyway, have a great day and I'll see you next time.